Now, real quickly, we've got to tie something he said in to what Nicole Quinn said. Nicole Quinn talked about inflation. And Ken said something about the cost of gas. The cost of gasoline in 1964, look it up online, Google it, the cost of gas in 1964 was 25 cents. Adjusted for inflation, adjusted for inflation, gasoline today should cost over $5.50 a gallon. We are paying less for gas at $3.50 or $3.80 than we were paying in 1964. But we don't appreciate it because the inflation is snuck in 2% a year, 3% a year. It's snuck in, but it's cumulative. And that's what's meant by destroying the money. We are paying less for gas now than we did in 1964. All right, Charlie Brown, please. Thank you. I'm Charlie Brown, and I am with permission borrowing these words from Jim Robinson, the founder of the conservative website, freerepublic.com. We are so close. Our Tea Party rebellion in 2010 turned the congressional world upside down and swept conservatives into power in the majority of our state legislatures. We see the fruits of we see the fruits of our labor in states like Wisconsin, where the lawmakers successfully challenged the government unions. We all witnessed the ugly protests of the angry socialist workers while they tried to block the changes. But Governor Walker and his conservative legislature held firm and brought them down a peg or two. We the people won the day. We the people won for freedom. It can be done. Socialism can be brought down and freedom restored, but it takes guts and willpower and people who are unafraid to take on the untouchables. Creeping socialism is strangling the life out of our country and will permanently destroy our capitalist economy and end our freedom if it's not stopped. We who love liberty must rip entrenched socialism out by the roots and burn it so that it can never take hold again. Marxist Obama, Reed, Pelosi, and their comrades must be defeated and sent home forever. We must retake the Senate and the White House in 2012 and continue strengthening our gains throughout the country. This is no time to allow Free Republic, the website, or the Tea Party to wither and die. We need each other now more than ever. We've achieved much together in the last few years, and we are so close to achieving a great victory over the evils of socialism. The nation needs us. Liberty needs us. Victory is ours in 2012, if we remain strong and vigilant. The entire world is watching to see what happens to the lying buffoon in the White House. The Congress won't do it. The courts won't do it. It's up to us, folks, we the people, to throw him out. Keep the faith. Keep the pressure on. Results are happening. The tide is turning. God bless and thank you. <laughs>